Right behind me, we've got this 1964 Chevy Impala two-door hardtop that's ready for your driveway. Whether you're into hot rods, low riders, or just nice street cars, the 64 Impala is one of the most iconic body styles there is. This is a great starter car for somebody wanting to build an amazing project. Every part and piece is here. It does have rust in some of the usual places that these cars will, but finding one this complete these days is getting harder and harder to do. If you like patina like we do, this car has it, and all I've done so far is use a gray Scotch-Brite with some soap and water, and now you can take this thing and use some Poppy's patina, lock it in, and it'll be good for years to come. I mean, you can't replicate this 60 years of patina that the weather did. Now, like I told you before, the car does have rust in a lot of the common areas. You can see right here on this fender, there's a little bit of previous bodywork with some rust. This quarter panel doesn't look terrible, but there is a little bit of rust down here on this bottom side. On the back of the car, probably the worst spot of rust on the car in my opinion, this rear pan where the trunk is, and a little bit of the trunk does have some rust. Yeah, you can look in here. There's rust here too. The sides of it actually look really good, but the bottom of the trunk pan does have rust in it. But it can hold me in there, so it's not that bad. If you look down this rear driver quarter panel, you can see that there is some rust, surface rust all around right here. But when you get lower, there are some holes in the body. You keep going forward to this right here, there are some more holes in the body. But like I said, it's not crazy bad. They make every part and piece for this car so you can get it replaced. You look at the door, it does have some holes in it over here, but when you look underneath it, the door is still solid. Normally they'll rust out on the bottom. This one's not like that. Uh, the front fender, it has some rust spots in it. Like I said, it's just an old freaking 64 Impala, 60 years old. It's gonna have these things. On the hood here, pretty common area on these cars where the cross supports are underneath the hood, there are some rust holes. Overall is in good condition, minus the corners back here. The factory hinges were rusted and whoever had this car previously tried to shut the hood on the rusty hinges and it ruined those hinges. So we've just got the hood sitting here. It still latches, it just doesn't have rear hinges on it. Under the hood, you can see we've got the original motor mounted up to the original transmission, and we did see if this thing spins over, and it does, but that's as far as we went with it. So this is the state you're gonna get it in. If you know these cars, you know one of the biggest things about them is having all the trim, and this car, 95% of the trim is there, and I think we even have a couple of pieces that are damaged that could be straightened out, but overall, the trim on the car is actually in pretty good condition. I think you could polish it up and make it look really nice. So having all the trim on this car is definitely a plus. This front windshield right here, it is all intact. It does have two small rock chips right here, but it's not bad. The vent windows are here, they're intact. Side window on the passenger side is here. The frames are rusted, but this rear window is intact and these actually roll down. Let's look at the back window. This thing is all here, there's no cracks. And luckily there's not a lot of rust around the window because that happens a lot too. The window is in good shape. Back here on this rear quarter window, it is all here, it's all good. The frame isn't really rusted that bad, but right here, this one is missing, but we do have an extra one that is gonna come with this. Vent window is intact and I'm sure you can move that around, but the glass is all here. We're gonna move on to the inside of the car here a little bit and talk about the state of the interior. The door panels are there. They are pretty rough. The rear quarter door panels for the back seat, they're not really door panels, but the side trim for the back seat, they're there, they're in really good shape. And then we do have the factory seats, the front and rear, the speaker is still in the rear seat. The frames are all good. The trim is on all the seats. You've got the core of what you need to redo this interior. Moving on to the interior rust. It's only really in the front floorboards. Transmission tunnel is fine. Your two front floorboards are gonna need to be replaced. But your back one's right here. This back driver's side only has a small hole in it. And then the passenger side has a few more than that. So you might wanna go ahead and replace your front floorboards and your rear ones. But back here where your uh, back seat sits, it's all good. So not really that bad. Well, overall guys, you can see, we've shown you everything we can about the car. It's pros and it's cons. 
And at the end of the day, it's a really good start to a project. However you want to finish it, whatever you want to do to it. Yeah, if you're into low riders, you can put hydraulics on it. If you want to put airbags on it, you can do that. Get this motor running, I bet it wouldn't take much, but what we were gonna do is LS swap it, patina it, and then go from there. But you can do whatever you want. All I know is it's gotta go.